If you're looking to buy or sell any FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, you can use U4GM.com as a reliable place to do so, and using code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, will get you 5% off your order. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Of course, the last video I uploaded was a little bit different. I had over a million coins stolen from my account by none other than EA themselves, but I have grieved and, well, honestly, I've been pretty busy and a little bit sick the last couple of days, so I would have been back sooner. But nonetheless, we have a lot of content to catch up on, and I'm going to show you guys everything you need to do right now in FIFA Ultimate Team in terms of investments and in terms of getting your Winter Wild Card swaps done because we currently have two swaps programs running at the exact same time. The FIFA World Cup Team of the Tournament Challenge, which is out until the day after Christmas, so you've got five more days to do it, gives you a swap token there's two others that you can get one of which is a swap token that you get for free just for logging in so make sure you do that and then on top of that you've got a new objective swap token which is super easy to do they've been a lot easier to do than most of the um world cup swaps that we saw during that promo so if we take a look at the objectives and we go over to milestones first owner fiesta it is hiding in here this is a objective or a milestone that we have often but this time if you do end up winning one match using the mode homegrown 11 which is just all first owner players it was really easy for me because i could just use my normal team you just have to win one match and you get a world cup swap token so those are the only three that are out so far so make sure you get those done before they expire and i'll continue to update you guys when new ones do end up dropping so you have to go over to the swaps tab but once you get there you have all of the different options to get the rewards and i already can afford an 81 times 11 rare players pack it's essentially getting a 100k pack but None of the players between 75 and 80 rated. So very good odds you get something great out of this pack. Of course, I'm going to be saving all of these packs that I get for Team of the Year. I've got the Team of the Year pack project. It has begun. It started a little bit later this year, but we are already up to over 1.5 million coins worth of packs. And I guess maybe that is somewhat of a consolation for the fact that we do not have the 1 million coins from Griezmann or the 1.5 million that we could have had. Now, for 15 swaps, you do get an 85 plus times 10 players pack. It's a pack that we normally see at the end of each year, but this year it is coming much sooner. Of course, only one of them is doable and you need 15 swaps to do it. Then at 10, you've got an 83 times 25. And to be honest, I think that is much better value, although you might only get 10 plus 85 rated. Maybe not even that. You are getting a bunch of other fodder, and plus, it is cheaper to do. So for 10 swaps, 83 plus times 25, that is not bad at all. I would suggest to stay away from the player picks. And you also have a couple of players that you can choose from. Kieran Trippier is one of them. He only costs two tokens, which is basically free. If you wanted to log in right now and get yourself an 87 rated card for free, it replaces probably a lot of right backs you're using. It might be a replacement for a gold Kyle Walker or anything you've been using as a Premier League right back so far. This card is available and we've seen a lot of people take him already because it's affecting the market, just like a lot of other different cards that we've seen in the SBCs in the last couple of days, one of which being Angel Di Maria. And now that he has this new dynamic picture of him kissing the World Cup trophy, even more people are going to go out and do him. And to be honest, I think I've got to go out and do him too, because that card not only looks so, so good, but on top of that, it is one of those World Cup cards that uh, has the really, really cool dynamic image. And it's only 120,000 coins. And a lot of people have gone out and done this SBC. All of the links to this card have risen in price. We've seen it with the Rabio. We've seen it with the other Argentinian players, even like Romero and Alejandro Gomez. Now, there is so much content dropping in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team that already has and will in the next couple of days. And I want to cover all of it so you don't forget any of it. And one of that 
is the Twitch Prime Pack, the Amazon Prime Pack. If you have your Amazon Prime connected to your Twitch Prime, and then you connect your Twitch account to your EA account, you get a free pack. And you can do that all on gaming.amazon.com slash loot slash FIFA 23. I'm not gonna spell it out for you, you can rewind, but it will give you this pack right here. And on top of that, if you do have that pack, you can also subscribe to somebody on Twitch for absolutely free and support them as well. So that is down in the description if you want to uh, click on my Twitch account for that. Nonetheless, we're seeing that drop. It's already out. And as you guys can see, you get a uh, seven rare gold players, two rare player pack uh, picks of 82 plus, 12 rare consumables, which are uh, not tradable. But I guess, you know, if you get shadows and position changes, you can always apply those to tradable cards and end up getting um, profit out of that. And then a 20 game loan Lionel Messi. So we're seeing that. Uh, for this promo as well. Winter Wild cards are dropping here in a couple of days. And here are some of the leaks we have so far. Team of the Tournament is currently out until Friday, and then it's going to be replaced by Wild cards. And we already have one banger off the bat, which is Rafael Varane, 85 pace, 89 defense, and 84 physicality. But we have to remember, the power curve is changing, and there's a lot of cards that actually look like this now. If it was the start of the year, this would have been the best center back in the game. But we've even seen a card like Thilo Carrere, who is just 16,000 coins and looks an awfully lot like this Varane. But it is Varane. We know how good he has been in previous years, and we know how much in demand he will be. So he'll be expensive, but maybe not as expensive as we previously thought. There's so many factors that go into it. One, there's been a lot of SBCs recently that have sucked coin buying power off the market, like Di Maria and all these casino SBCs. On top of that, we've also seen so many new cards added to the game, and they might look like this Rafael Verona. As I said, Carrere might be just a budget option people go with instead. Maybe they decide to go with Jules Koundé if he's cheaper. Or maybe this card ends up being super cheap and Jules Koundé just drops with him. All of those are very, very big possibilities, but with the team of the year being right around the corner in just about three weeks, we've got a lot of people afraid to buy cards, and for good reason, the market has already crashed enough, and it could go even lower. And I warned you guys about this at the beginning of the month, so hopefully you haven't lost too many coins on the market crash and you've been mostly liquid. Next, we've got Yashua Kimmich, and again, with the power curve, how long is 76 pace going to keep up? Not very much longer. Then we've got Andrew Robertson, who could be another story because I'm hearing rumors that his card has five-star skill moves. I cannot confirm or deny, but that would be a pretty good left back for your Premier League squad. And then we've got Benzema, 93 rated. Now here's the deal with him. He's probably going to get into team of the year. When I say probably, he is going to get into team of the year. And that's going to be a better card than this winter wild card. So I think a lot of people are going to be afraid to buy this one as well. So it could be cheaper than what we expect. And then we've got Adama Traore, who obviously already has great pace on his gold card. But then when you pair it with really good dribbling, decent finishing, and great physicality and, and, and usable passing, that card is going to be very expensive and sweaty as well. I do not want to come up against that in a match. There's even more content in the store. And of course, EA are trying to get you to go out and use FIFA points on this. But when you look at it containing 20 rare gold players, it's almost a 100K pack. They're giving you on the store for 37 and a half thousand coins. Now there's another untradeable one for 25K that I opened on the companion app right when it came out. And it gave me a decent amount of SBC fodder that was worth way more than 25K. And now we're gonna go ahead and try to open this for 37,000 coins which did come out about a week ago and we ended up getting Sadio Mane. So we profited after that Sadio Mane because he basically got our coins back and then everything else in the pack was profit. We'll see if we can get lucky again, but there are good odds that you at least get your coins back with this pack. And in ours, we end up getting absolutely nothing in 82 rated as the highest rated. And you kind of got to ask yourself, are they nerfing these cards or these packs? Uh, because 82 rated is the best pl uh, player in that. Uh, very, very suspicious. We'll go at one, two, three, four, about nine tradable cards. How much do you get for quick selling the rest of it? Just 6K. So maybe you're getting about 10K back if you quick sell everything. And I just lost myself about 20,000 coins. But eh, 
it is what it is when we consider the context of my previous week on FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. 20K is not nearly that bad, and I'm definitely a little less connected to my coin total right now, although I would love to get back in to making those coins. So let's go ahead and talk about investments or maybe what we should stay away from in the next couple of days. But before we get into those investments, I've got two more things to go over, one of which is the secret comment of the day. If you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment the word pineapple down below, and I'll make sure to heart everybody's comment who does that. I appreciate you guys watching all the way through the videos. And then two, this is the last day to pack World Cup cards, the red ones that we've seen for the last month, and collecting them. Now, they are going to be out of the game in about two weeks. You can still use them to finish your World Cup swaps and all that, but you will not be able to get them in packs any longer after today. So if you need any cards for an objective, if you're trying to get a little bit further in your collection so you can get better rewards, today is the last day. In fact, you only have a few hours left. Now I'm at level seven, it looks like. I haven't really gone out and made too much of an effort in getting the best rewards, but I've got 479 and I just need to get to 500 and I get myself another 81 plus times 11 pack. So I've got eight more hours to get myself another 21 cards, which I don't think is too difficult, but if you're close to that next level, go ahead and check and get that done in the next few hours. Now, as I mentioned earlier, and with the title and thumbnail, there is some insane SBC content right now, which has SBC fodder going all over the place. Some of the lower rated is a little bit higher. Some of the higher rated is kind of lower. We'll talk about which are the best investments at the end of today's video, but we've got three big SBCs here. And then of course, you've also got the Angel Di Maria SBC that everybody's going out and doing. So a lot of SBC fodder getting used and taken out of people's clubs. First of all, you have this 85 plus semifinals upgrade, which is maybe worth it. I don't know. It's only one player that's 85 plus that you get in return. You have to submit an inform. This is the squad that it would look like if I did submit. I'm not sure I'm going to yet, but I will submit the World Cup uh, campaign player pick, which is an 83 and an 84 rated squad. Again, I have all this SBC fodder to use. Of course, I'm going to need it in the future with some sort of SBC during team of the year for sure, but I'm hoping that I can get some of those players back and, well, all of these packs that we have saved up and... Um, other SBCs that will open uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, the 84 rated squad does need two 86s. I'm going to submit this Gavi that I packed and this Solskjaer that I packed. And uh, hopefully they aren't in vain. Those cards aren't very usable, aren't very good. And here's the World Cup campaign player pick. Let's see if we get anything decent. We could get anything from the World Cup phenoms to the path to glory to the stories cards, etc. I believe Team of the Tournament's also in it as well. So we can get anything. And here it is. World Cup player pick. Give me something crazy. We get Thiago Silva and Guerrero. Guerrero, it's only 85 pace. It's not what I'm really looking for. I definitely could have gotten worse cards. Uh, let's go ahead and see what Thiago Silva sells for on the market. It is currently only, well, it is 41,000 coins, so I guess that's not too bad. And then Guerrero, only 85 rated, costs 20,000 coins. I think we take Thiago Silva. We might use him a little bit. Overall, at least we've got an 88 for SBC fodder in the future. So it wasn't completely useless, although I don't think we got our value back from that. We have this 88 plus mid or FIFA World Cup icon upgrade, which is out for another four days. And that targeted the 87s, but it's been impacts for a while. If we take a look though at the uh, squad building challenges that are out currently, we can see it's got pretty good reviews overall and people are going out and doing these because the 88 plus gets 74% upvotes and the SBCs that are out right now, this is only 57%, but the campaign player picks got 71%. The Di Maria SBC has 95%. So people are using their SBC fodder. So let's talk about which is the best to invest in. I've got two things to ask you guys. One is if you would drop a like on today's video, let's shoot for 200. And 
If you've made it this far into the video, the secret comment word of the day is pineapple. If you include that in your comment down below, you'll get a heart on your comment. I appreciate you guys making it this far in the video. So let's talk about team of the tournament cards, which are currently in packs until Friday. Are they good investments out of packs? And overall, I would say it is risky because we've seen these cards in the previous promos like World Cup Phenoms haven't done so well. If we take a look at Jules Kounde, this card was most expensive, and this is the case for pretty much all of the World Cup Phenom. It was most expensive on Wednesday and Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday of the week it was in packs. It actually dropped on the Friday. It went out of packs, although there was, you know, an overall market drop that day. You can't attribute it to just the World Cup uh, Phenoms dropping. It hasn't risen since it's been out of packs. It's still 240,000 coins. So I think something similar could happen to these team of the tournament cards we're getting closer to team of the year and the closer we get the more afraid people are going to be to buy cards the more liquid people want to stay until team of the year comes around which means that there isn't much room for these cards to rise out of packs and every single time that the market takes a hit and there is a drop in price maybe they drop another you know good sbc and people start selling their cards again then it drops a lot more than when it rises. So the risk is higher than the reward, unless it's a complementary link investment in which those cards have done great. Now, what I mean by that is it's a card that invests or, or links to a card that's in an SBC that everybody's going out and doing, like this Di Maria. We showed it with Rabio earlier. His card has risen a ton since that Di Maria came out. And we saw it uh, with Malinkovic Savage Path to Glory back when the Vlahovic dropped last week. And we saw it with the uh, Path to Glory Brozovic and the Croatian cards when Orsic dropped a few days ago. And with the Argentinian cards when Endo Fernandez's card got an upgrade. So all of the complementary links have done very, very well. And that Milinkovic Savage is a great testament to it because that was when the market crashed was when Vlahovic dropped. And every single card in the game dropped except for a select few, and Milinkovic Savic was one of them. Not only did he not drop, but he rose by 20,000 coins. But we haven't seen any SBC leaks yet. So if you're going to invest in one of these cards, maybe you know we see a leak to uh, possibly a, a really, really good... Um, maybe it's a Spurs player, and that's going to be coming in an SBC, so maybe you could go with Kane or Perisic. That kind of deal. Now, there isn't anything leaked yet, and you might ask, should we invest in links to Varon or other cards that are coming in Winter Wild cards? And we don't really see the cards that link to them rise a ton because they're in packs, and it's really different when you're investing with a card that's in an SBC or an objective because a lot more people go out and get that card untradeable. The only reason they're getting it is to use that card, and we see their links rise a ton. So I would stay away from the meta investing unless it's complimentary links, and I'm sure I'll have a video tomorrow or the next day covering some sort of leak SBC and uh, complimentary link investing. But now we're going to take a look at SBC fodder, which right now is up for some of the lower rateds and down for some of the higher rateds, but those higher rateds could be really good investments. 83s are up right now at about 1.4, 1.5K. Sell them, in my opinion. There's going to be a chance to reinvest in those cards. And they've gone from 800 to 1500 in a day. That's a great return on investment in terms of percentage. Uh, we've seen 84s rise over 1,000 coins. 85s have gone up a couple hundred coins. 86s have gone up a couple hundred coins. But the real money to be made, I think, is with some of these higher rated cards. 87s, 88s, 89s. These are down right now. 87 is not in a, you know, completely unfamiliar price range. They hover between, you know, 17K and 24K a lot. They're kind of on the lower end right now. But the ones that are really on the lower end are the 88s and the 89s. If we take a look at Tony Kroos, his card right now is the cheapest it's been. And this is the case for all the 88s. The cheapest it's been in over a month. Right now, it's 26,000 coins. And we haven't seen it under 26,000 coins. Uh, I guess we saw it one day on October or, or December 3rd. But since before Black Friday, really, it hasn't been below 26K. And on Black Friday, it rose to 57,000 coins, which is well over double his price. And I think that we may see these cards do something similar during Team of the Year. Because during those big promos like that, there's always huge SBCs. There's always a lot of SBCs. And SBC fodder is always going up in price because they want to sell more packs. And if every single pack is dead, 
they're not going to sell as many packs. So they make SBC fodder much more expensive during those times to sell more packs. And it's probably going to be a similar um, thing during team of the year. So I'm kind of torn between do I just add one of each to my club and just take the profits when they come around? Or do I go all in, go unassigned and just wait for a couple weeks? And for me, that is kind of a long wait, but the reward does seem kind of worth it. It could be a good investment if you're willing to be patient with that kind of card. Uh, you could maybe invest in that card on Friday when, when the uh, winter wild cards drop and maybe SBC fodder goes a little bit lower and there's a lot of supply, so it's easy to buy a lot of cards. That could be a shout, guys. I'm just saying 88s and 89s are very cheap right now. Could be an opportunity to go in on them in the next couple of days and just hold those cards for a couple of weeks, take some easy profit. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, do not forget to drop a like on the video and do not forget to comment the secret comment word of the day, which I'm not going to repeat it. You'll have to find that in the video if you skipped through. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.